subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss another video. Hi, Vipasha. How are you doing? Hi. It's exciting because uh, things are releasing after a long time. So yeah, some butterflies and lots of excitement. We've been waiting to see you on screen. You have to tell us why you made your fans wait for so long to come on screen again. I have always been, uh, you know, the follower of love yourself and satisfy your needs first. So for me, uh, after my marriage, it was a decision that uh, you know I've been working from the age of 15 as a model and 19 as an actor. So I had decided that I'm not going to work for a while and just uh, sit back, chill, enjoy, you know, the perks of the life that I work for. And uh, it kind of happened that there was no timeline as such. But uh, in, I don't know, you know, it's. Now everyone's telling me it's five years. I never really thought about it also because I kept on saying few more months, few more months. We'll do something. Okay, I'll do something. And I was doing uh, events and performances. Those were still on endorsements. So I really didn't think that it's such a long gap. And I had such a brilliant time uh, spending, uh, you know, this quality time with my husband and my mom and dad. which i had never done before you know uh, i never gave time to parents so much because i was always on the go so um, my father retired after my wedding and we all got a lot of quality time as a family together so i guess you know i just lost track of time and uh, but in the last one month i'm very very aware and alert and uh, ready to work and i'm missing the set after a very long time and uh, yeah it's i'm going to be definitely working more more now the trailer of dangerous looks super intriguing but i would ask you all of your work has been in films but how is it coming back to sets to dangerous and how was it shooting for a, a web series how was that well we actually shot dangerous as a film um it's the current situation um of the world which uh, is leading us to have an ott release uh but uh, we are very happy because we had a lot of more content and really good scenes which uh, we don't have to now uh, let go because we decided to uh, come out as a seven part series so um so still i would not say it's not my experience of a series while shooting but yes the release is such and i'm very grateful you know as an actor that even in times like this that we are are uh, going to be entertaining the audiences i think your last film was 2015 alone and uh, you were with karan in that film and when you're coming back you're with karan was that a conscious decision that you made ki like maybe i should do this or it just happened i never have had a plan in place in terms of my career i am a person <laughs> who uh, you know is all heart and i flow so right from the beginning till now there has been actually no plan like alone uh, there was no strategy in place that i did alone last with karan and then you know i need to when i do whatever i do next has to be with karan uh, in fact it's actually the opposite when we did alone and then we became a couple um i had decided and i had that discussion with karan that you know we should not be doing any like not a lot of work together uh we should just uh, as individual actors when we like something we should come on board but we should try and not do everything together and a um, lot of things were offered to us after alone lot of uh, uh, you know content lot of supernatural content also but i refused to even listen to it when um, dangerous happened karan was signed before and he was working but i was still on my bliss in my blissful state of uh, chilling and um everyone asked me to read the script vikram and these are people i know very well bhushan and vikram and i said okay let me just hear it and let me read it and uh, once i read it i was like oh this seems very interesting and uh, i told karan okay i think i'm i'm going to be doing this one so you're going to be my co-star again and but this time i'm the wife and he's the husband that also i didn't really think about it it's just when you guys are asking me this question that's when you know i kind of figure out that you know okay yes as a spouse we are doing a film together and i have not done anything in the middle so yeah but it was not planned 
which is the next genre that Vibhasha Basu aiming at? I know you don't have a plan, but like, I have actually done all kind of genres in my. If you go back yeah. right from the time I have been launched, it's nineteen years, and I've done. More than seventy-five, eighty films. I was told by Kaveri Bamzai last yesterday. Yeah, I don't even know that. So I don't keep yeah. count of how much work I'm doing, but uh, and it involves all kinds of genres, whether it's drama, Absolutely. comedy, Absolutely. thriller, supernatural. Um, mm-hmm. But I would say that uh, definitely in the last few years, thrillers and supernatural genre has been uh, the main ones that I've worked on. Also, it's because of how easily you can get stereotyped in this business you know mm-hmm. it's it's like acha isne ek hit di hai uh, horror film she is the queen of horror film let's take all of it to her so i had to actually stop listening to films also in the middle because i was so tired that if i would not even uh, read or listen to them because maybe the stories were good but it's just that i wanted to not be in a box you know after so many years in the business and then they are trying to put you in a box it's kind of frustrating and um, that's why i said no to a lot of work and um, i would just say that you know if i um, this is a wonderful time for actors um the kind of uh, there is no limitation to the look of an actor there is no limitation uh, to what an actor can do or not do or also for the creative side you know it's not genre respective i would want just an interesting role um because now in seasons and shows uh you are going to carry off the graph of one character over like 10 episodes and then the next season and that's yeah. like maybe like 40 minutes an episode or an hour an episode around 10 hours and we are used to only like balancing our character for like maybe 40 minutes in a 2 hour film Yeah. So there is a lot of scope for actors to do, and especially for women also, because now people are not so gender biased. Uh, also, they are not age biased because now all kinds of roles are being written for people at all of all age groups. It's not yeah. that you know, only the twenty-year-olds will work. Uh, there's no uh, thankfully there's no shelf yeah. life for actresses so, anymore. So I'm glad that you know now there is another new kind of change, and I definitely want to make use of that opportunity. So definitely looking forward to interesting shows and interesting work in the future. When you were shooting for Dangerous, of course you were shooting with Karan. How was it? How was that? How was the BTS memories? Because again, like back when you did alone, after that is when you became a couple. And then how was it now shooting with your husband? Where where you like because you're you're together at home when you go on sets. Was it like अच्छा चलो यार like बहुत हो गया. No, you know we are one of those quintessential lame couple. father <laughs> i always feel that you know i'm like karan you know we are so stuck to each other i'm sure when people look at us and they must be having this big bubble on their head and thinking that they are so lame or they are so fake no so, i you know whatever. the other day i was talking to karan and i told him like we i and miss mali we love vibhasha and karan uh, karan because their social media posts are so cute we are always like oh guys stop it <laughs> you know then that, that is the section of uh, you know we we are in love and we should all spread love and uh, if that can you know that kind of reaction comes from even a section of people i'm happy you know that's that's the section i'm going to be concerned with the other other people don't matter really but um, we are a uh, little excessively uh, stuck to each other all the time and uh, but when 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 we were on set it was um, uh, there is a particular way i work and function as an actor that did not change you know where whoever's my co star it remains the same you know i'm I'm fun. I'm encouraging, and I'm supportive as a co-star to anybody. All my co-stars, and um, that was the same for Karan in alone. And now he's my husband. Um, he would definitely give me the space of the the kind I need as an actor. But the moment it would be pack up and we are sitting in the car, we would be husband and wife. So it would be 99% of the yeah. actor and 1% wife on set. <laughs> That's so sweet. favorite like behind the scenes memories while shooting because you were back on sets after so long right from day 1 there was no butterfly there was nothing the moment action was said 
it was like always it was so, it was like you were back home it was it was um it was um like drinking water um i remember that we shot a little bit of a flashback sequence where we had a song sequence which we shot uh, on top of a bus open bus and that was really fun freezing but it was fun because we could just dance scream and there were like indians everywhere you know everyone was like waving out to us no matter where we went so that day was really good fun back then when you made your debut and right now what do you think has changed for like is coming into the industry who are aspiring to coming into the industry see everyone has a individual struggle everyone whether it was then or now the struggle is real for everyone and we should respect everyone's journey and struggle um i can only talk about what i went through difference i would say there was a little more i would say star power 10 years back there was a elusiveness of stars now everything is very accessible it's not that glamorous i feel even though the fashion and uh, uh the fashion has boomed and you know the our glam squad are fantastic international level all of them whether it's a stylist hair makeup everyone the entourage is like bang on but i still feel the elusiveness of a star is gone uh because of social media very easy access accessibility um that is a very big change um that's one thing you know and uh, in terms of working i you know that's something that you know every year everyone evolves and so does uh you know a, a such a big industry like the film industry um but you know i started off with people like abbas mustan who were way before their times in terms of their uh technical expertise when the, the way ajnabi shot it could be like any film from now and even the storytelling and even the kind of characters you know why swapping in 2000 uh one nobody would have thought about uh you know uh, me uh, a 19 year old girl getting launched as an actress with a negative role these were things which were a little bit ahead of times at that time in 2000 it's like we are going to be like 20 years into it yeah. next year so um i will i feel that uh, things are changing and they are definitely changing for good there was nothing bad then um uh, you always see the bad if you want to see the bad a lot of bad even then exists now i choose to see always the good so it's been a fun journey for me there's no complain as such there's no uh, like blame nothing you know these are all my all my success is mine and all the mistakes are mine so i can i don't have anyone to blame in at all ever absolutely and hopefully we'll get to see more and more and more of you thank you lots of love to team ismalini